What time is it? That's right. It's time for another quiz. So what do you uh -huh. think what do you think he landed on? What's below? I hope the grass, man. <laughs> the elephant takes something from the lady. What does he take from her? Oh, <laughs> he he takes her mobile. <laughs> Lovely music. You can hear it. All right. Wonderful. Okay, so let's pause the music. Okay. All right. Hello, hello, everyone. We have some fun stuff planned for today. And you know how I like to experiment. So we're going to try something new as well. <laughs> True Learning says dance for us. And not for us... Anna Fra 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 says, "Let's dance, right? Music is wonderful." Okay, so let's see if we have uh, got to rush. Ah, our first. <laughs> she may be familiar to you guys. Let's see, waiting for got to rush. Okay. Hello. Hello. How are you? Good. Can you say hello to the hello to Instagram? Hello to Instagram. <laughs> okay. So, what would you like to how would you like to introduce today? You want to talk about something? Yes. Um today, early today, I actually swam with a friend of mine. And it was from one o'clock until six. So that was really long, but we swam longer before. Uh huh. Did you have a good time? Yes. Well, fabulous. So, anything else? Or shall I jump into our lesson for today? Jump in. Just like you jumped in the pool. Ha ha ha. Okay. All right, thank you, and we will see you again in in the future. Hasta right. luego. Hasta luego. Zaitien. Okay. All right. All right, I'm going to switch my camera around. We're going to jump right in because I know that you guys look forward to the section where we go live, right? Yes, well, we're live, but I bring you guys and we can chat. So let's... Without further ado, let's jump in. Let me focus. I always have to focus. And just in case you guys weren't aware, let's get focus. Come on. You can do it. There we go. Ah, okay. So right now we are able lingo. We're no longer able idioms. But you guys probably already know that. Okay. So we're going to do three things, inspirational quote, explore a meme, invite viewers live, but something new today, after every section and every picture when you guys come live, we're going to do a quiz. Woo! <laughs> so I will ask you guys questions, and there will be multiple choice, and I'll give you time to answer, and you can tell me what you think in the comments, okay? So we will have multiple questions today or multiple quizzes okay let's jump in here is the quote for today be brave take risks nothing can substitute experience all right so let's take a look or actually let's do pronunciation first repeat after me out loud be brave take risks Nothing can substitute experience. Okay, so if you repeated out loud after me, show me some apples in the comments. I'm going to show you the guy who said this quote, and I'll try to pronounce his name correctly. Paulo Coelho? Coelho, I'm not quite sure, but he's from Brazil. 
Is there anybody from Brazil today? Because this guy is from your country. <laughs> and let's see, it says, Paulo Coelho de Souza is a Brazilian lyricist and novelist. He is best known for his novel, The Al Alchemist. Mm hmm. See, Ahmed Bidir says, one more time, please. And I think that means one more time pronouncing it. So here we go. Repeat out loud after me. Be brave. Take risks. Nothing can substitute experience. Okay. Ooh, I see apples in the comments. That means you guys are pronouncing out loud and practicing your pronunciation. Okay. So be brave. Can anyone think of another way to say be brave? Hmm. What do you think? There's another word that starts with a C that is similar to brave. Can any, oh, Ahmed Bidir says, thank you. You're welcome. All right. Can anybody start or think of a word that starts with a C that means the same thing as brave? Hmm. What do you think? What do you think? Oh, ho, ho. What is another word for brave that mm -hmm. starts with C? Let's see. Ah, Lily Soul 137. Nice work. Courageous. English.com. First of all, it says be courageous. Right. And the sky says courage. Right. So bravery is courage and brave is courageous. Right. So take risks. Hmm. If we take risks, that means there's possible danger, right? There's a possibility that something could go wrong. But if we don't do anything, there's a guarantee that nothing will improve. <laughs> so we need to do something. It might be risky. That's how we improve. Nothing can st substitute experience, right? Substitute just means replace, take the place of. So nothing can replace experience. And the only way we can get experience is by being brave and taking risks. Mm-hmm. Okay. So, all right. I think it is time. This is the first time that we're going to do. I'm going to flip around. It's time for a quiz. <laughs> That's why I put my glasses on because, because I'm supposed to be serious, right? So I put my glasses on. And it's time for a quiz. Are you guys ready? The first quiz ever? All right, I'm going to flip back around. And we'll focus once again. Ah, oh, great. It focused right away. Okay, it's time for a quiz. Let's see if you guys were listening. All right, it's going to be multiple choice. So I'll read the question and then I will give you the choices. And it's going to be A, B, or C. And you let me know in the comments. Here we go. What is another way to say risk? A, possible danger. B, possible anxiety. C, possible sardines. Mmm. Okay, oh, I almost forgot. We have music. So when the music stops, I will give you the answer. Mm hmm. Okay, isn't it great to have a little bit of music when we take a quiz? Okay, so I see a lot of A, 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 right? I was really hoping that no, <laughs> there always has to be someone. Anash Kutik says C. <laughs> okay, all right. So the correct answer is Possible danger, right? I remember saying that when we talked about the quote, right? I remember saying, take risks, 
risks means there is possible danger, but if you do nothing, there's a guarantee you won't improve. Okay, so another way to say risk is possible danger. And anxiety, we'll explain the other wrong answers just to make sure everyone understands. Can anyone tell me another word for the word anxiety? What is another way to say anxiety? Or to describe if someone is anxious, they're feeling anxious. What does that mean? Hmm, anxiety, possible anxiety. It's the wrong answer, but it's good to understand what the words mean. Ah, Lily Soul 137 says fear. That's not a bad answer, right? We could also say someone is nervous. Anxiety is a noun, so it's a thing. So we could say nervousness. If we changed it to... Uh, an adjective, anxious, I feel anxious, then we would, could say something like, I feel nervous, right? Okay, and I don't think we need to explain this answer. <laughs> it's wrong. <laughs> Sardines are just little fish, right? Okay, so another way to say risk is possible danger. That was our first quiz ever, and it's, we have more today, too. Woo. All right, let's keep going. It's time for the meme. Mm. All right, let's move forward. So we just finished the inspirational quote, and now it's time to explore a meme. All right, so let's review. What the heck is a meme? <laughs> If we say meme, it rhymes with dream, seem. A meme is something, such as a video, picture, or phrase, that a lot of people send to each other on the internet. Okay, so let's jump in and see the meme for today. I see Ahmed Badir says, what is a meme? Well, it's right here. Something such as a video, picture, or phrase that a lot of people send to each other on the internet. Okay. All right, <laughs> so let's start by describing the child. I would say the child looks kind of evil. <laughs> okay, so the first top, top part says, cry all flight long, fall asleep during landing. And so the kid's like, ha, 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 sneaky little kid, right? Mm. <laughs> okay, so... The picture of the kid has a look on his face like he's kind of evil, like he planned it. He tried to make trouble for everyone. But the truth is that he's just a young kid, right? And there's probably no way that he planned it, but it's still an interesting look. <laughs> because if you guys are parents and you have children, you've probably experienced times when it's difficult and the child doesn't want to go to sleep or you need them to be relaxed, like on a flight, on an airplane, you want them to relax because there's not a lot of space to move around, and they cry, and they kick, and they scream, and then when the plane is landing, they fall asleep. <laughs> so it's like, ah, what a frustration. Okay, all right, okay. So this is the meme for today. The meme is like an interesting picture, maybe a funny picture with some words that make it interesting that people want to share. So, what time is it? That's right. It's time for another quiz. Woo! Here we go. All right, so let's see if you guys were listening when we were talking about this meme. Here is the quiz. Question and then multiple choice answer. Here we go. And you let me know what you think. This child would probably cause us to become A, ecstatic, B, frustrated, C, elated. Hmm, time for the music.
Okay. All right. We stopped the music. That means I'm going to give you the answer. And in the comments, I see a lot of bees. B b b b b b. Right. No sardines in this answer. <laughs> in this answer selection. Okay. So this child, and when we say this child, we're talking about this child. Right. We just talked about that one. This child would probably cause us to become B. The answer is frustrated. <laughs> Let's do a little pronunciation, shall we? Everybody repeat after me. Ecstatic. All right. Now let's say the next word. Everybody say frustrated. And the last one, elated. All right. So the answer is frustrated. And frustrated just means like upset, maybe angry. Maybe you feel, ah, oh, the kid was such so difficult during the flight. But then at the end, he fell asleep when the flight was already over. And now it's not worth it. <laughs> we, we wanted him to sleep during the flight. So he would probably cause us to become or feel frustrated. All right. Can someone tell me? What is the meaning of the word ecstatic? And I'll give you another hint. It's the same meaning as elated. <laughs> elated and ecstatic mean pretty much the same thing. So if I feel ecstatic or I feel elated, can you guys tell me what do these words mean? Mmm, ecstatic, elated, what do they mean? Let us know in the comments. I bet someone knows. Do, 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 do. What do you think? Kiswa8549 says happy. Yes, and not just happy, but really happy, quite happy, very happy, like super happy. So elated and ecstatic are you feel great, right? Uh, Zizo3ZZ says delight. Yes, right, delight. Gazal Hosseini says happy and excited, right? So the parents of this child feel frustrated. The parents of other children that slept during the flight, they might feel ecstatic, especially when they look at this little evil child. <laughs> okay, so the answer is frustrated because it would be a very difficult situation and challenging if the, if the child is crying during the whole flight. Okay, all right. Well, let's see. That was the second quiz. So we did an inspirational quote. We explored a meme. And now it is time to invite viewers live. Oh, OK. So before we do that, let me show you what our theme is for today. All right. Today's theme is, and you can probably see it already in here, animals. <laughs> So every picture that we look at, every video thing that we see, it's going to have to do with animals. Okay. All right. Ahmed Badir says, I have to learn more and more words. Right. Don't put crying emoji. Put excited emojis because there's so much to learn. It's great. And we can help you out. Okay. All right. Let me switch it back around. Remember, today's theme is animals. All right, I guess I can take off my glasses because we don't have a quiz at the moment, so I don't need to be serious. But I'll let, let's do it on a secret. After every picture, when I finish going live with you guys, there's another quiz. <laughs> so we're going to check and see if you guys were listening and paying attention, whether or not you came live or if you're just watching. Okay, so let's do it. All right, today's theme is animals. I'm going to get my picture ready. And let's see who is waiting to become live. All right, let's see. We have Lily Soul 137. Let's see. All right, let's see what happens. Waiting for Lily Soul 137. Good time to take a drink. Hello. Hello, how are you? Fine, thank you. How are you? Fabulous. And just to check, um, is you're not going to show your face, or is the camera not loading? 
No, I'm not going to show my face. Okay. Excuse me for that. No, no, no worries. I just want to make sure cuz sometimes Instagram freezes. <laughs> and then it's yeah. difficult. Yeah. Yeah, I know. All right. Okay, let's see. All right. So, uh is your name Lily then? Yeah. And where I'm are you Lily? From? Where are you from? I talked to you before. We did. Uh yeah. From uh, which... Do you remember that view, the sunset with the horse? Oh yeah. Oh, wait, don't tell me. Uh uh you're from <laughs> Kuwait, Kuwait, right? Kuwait. Yeah, I'm li- yeah, I live in Kuwait, but originally I'm Syrian. Okay. All right. So Yeah. All right, let's see. Are you ready for your picture? <laughs> Cuz I think Okay. <laughs> I think you know what we're going to do since you did it before. So I'm going to switch the yeah. camera around and whenever you're ready. Oh, did were you here? Okay. You, you you took the quizzes too. I think I saw you giving some answers, right? Yeah, maybe. Oh, okay. All right, here we go. All right, let me try to make it a little bit bigger. Oh my god. <laughs> What's that? Let's see. If I make it more a little bit bigger maybe it will help all right oh all right is that a dog you tell me is, is it a dog <laughs> <laughs> it's so hard oh maybe it's a a dog inside of the of a pool maybe okay. trying to to get outside of the or out of the swimming pool okay Maybe I'm guessing. I'm guessing and <laughs> you know I've been trying to sleep or to take a nap uh, maybe for for 2 hours and I couldn't. Well, uh, I th- I, th- I think you do- I think you're doing very well so far. We have a dog in a pool. Maybe okay. Yeah, so so it's right. It's good. Um yeah, it's a brown dog. It's uh inside the swimming pool and it is trying to get out of that place and uh maybe around the swimming pool i can see some trees okay and uh, uh next to the dog uh i think there is another dog trying to do the same thing okay maybe it's his friend or yeah uh-huh it, um, what else ahead. that's it uh and uh, i think the water is not that deep so uh maybe half of the dog is not covered with, by water or with water yeah okay. it's day time uh huh i think you and you're, uh, what you're, else you're anticipating my questions very good <laughs> <laughs> yeah <laughs> that's it Okay. So That's it. if you had yeah. to if you had to estimate the depth of the water, what would you say? I think it's uh half a meter, maybe. Okay. okay. And Or more than that, yeah. Maybe 60 or 70 centimeters. Okay. Yeah. And how would you describe the color yeah. the color of the pool and the water? The color of the pool it's uh blue it's uh it likes the sky what can i say that it's uh i forgot that word it's clear blue maybe or what what can i say for that you could say bright blue yeah not uh i didn't mean the bright blue there's another adjective that we use uh to describe that that amazing or wonderful blue when the sky or water is so clear oh sparkling and, uh, maybe clean Spark- maybe uh shining or no, shimmer no not sparkling Sh- shimmering maybe <laughs> shining maybe shim- <laughs> no sh- no <laughs> no it's not that shiny or sparkling no okay and is yeah i is- can't see other uh-huh. details here is the water actually blue or Why does it look blue? No, it looks blue because of the swimming pool. It's uh painted, it's painted by blue color. Right. So that's why it's yeah, the reflection of the, you know, the paint. Right. 
And why do you think most yeah. people why do you think most people choose blue instead of like black or brown? Or <laughs> you know, it's uh it's uh, it sends us a kind of uh, or sense of uh, satisfaction relaxation mm. yes oh connection let's see if we get it oh. call so uh i had yeah i hadn't heard the last sentence sorry what did you ask me oh i was just saying the connection was kind of funny but i guess you're back No no it it wasn't the connection uh, I had a call and I refused it just so continue please Oh okay and I think you mentioned in the background our trees and I would agree so Yeah if yeah. The, if the dogs jumped out of the pool what do you think they would land on If they jumped mm -hmm. outside the pool what right. will happen What would what do you think they would land on top of uh maybe maybe it's a kind of a garden maybe I'm sorry maybe it's a kind of a garden around the the swimming pool Sure I guess there's a few options yeah. one one could be that the floor is actually level with the pool so they would just climb out onto the the floor Ah or, okay uh, yeah 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 Or it could yeah. be a, or it could be like a temporary or outdoor pool and there are sides where you might maybe be a meter one Yeah, I think meters. I think yeah, the the second choice, yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. Because we can see the you know the uh the whole of the trees, we can see the upper side of the trees. Right. So we guess that yeah, you guess your your second choice was right. Yeah. Okay, okay so I'm going to put it into motion. and take take a moment to look at it and then let me know what new information you have okay 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 all right here we go right now oh <laughs> a dog with sunglasses amazing <laughs> okay <laughs> now i beg it for that situation right uh -huh. i need that <laughs> um So it's not trying at all. It's not trying to get out of that pool and I swear it's maybe it will stay there all the day. Uh it's a kind of relaxing uh set or Sure. So we could say the dogs yeah. are relaxing in the pool. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Do you think the other dog They are dog... enjoying the sunshine. They are the other dog dog is doing the same. I'm sure about that. Uh-huh. And who do you think put the sunglasses on the dog? Mm, maybe the one who's taking the photo or the video. And in what relationship would the person have with the dog or what are the potential relationships he's swimming with them he <laughs> by sure he's swimming with them yeah right so in that situation you could say playmates but once they yeah. get out they get out of the pool and they go back to their regular lives what kind of relationship do you think they might have a uh, relationship right he I has do. those dogs at uh, at home Uh-huh. Uh, I don't I don't know exactly what do you mean but he owes that uh, dog or those dogs and he can treat them or he can deal with them uh in a in an amazing way so he he could know uh what amuses them or what can make them relaxed and uh, and happy. Right. We could say the relationship one example would be owner and pet. or if you if yeah the, if really, okay if, yeah yeah if they're really close you could say friends but probably owner and pet yeah or pet yeah maybe owner. yeah uh huh but i can notice that um maybe there there are three dogs not only no not two three uh -huh. dogs R right right and then yeah. also something yeah. else yeah there's one at the corner at the corner or behind them there's uh, 
a third dog, right? It, it looks like it, yes. How do you think the owner was able to get them to stay in one place? Um, maybe by rehearsal, you can say that. Sure. It's, uh, Pr practice and training. Uh, yeah, practicing. Um, maybe yesterday I read um, a text that was about animals, and there was a sentence about the dog. It was uh, the dog can understand uh, from 150 to 200 words, mm. and uh, that's equal. That equals a kid uh, in two years, let's say, two years old. So this animal is smart. And it can understand you, especially if you are his owner. Sure. Okay. Yeah. And right. it shows uh, a big deal of uh, emotions. Sure. Okay. Well, if this, was, uh, if this was a TV show, what name would you give it? Uh, cool Dogs. <laughs> the coolest dogs. <laughs> The coolest dogs on the block. The coolest <laughs> dogs ever. Yeah, <laughs> maybe. Yeah. Okay. All right. Well, I'm gonna flip back yeah. around. And. Okay. And now it's your turn. If you oh, have a, okay. a, a question or a comment, I can't go for a super long time because I have only. Yeah, I know you have a lot time. of. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Limited time. Oh, so, I would. Okay. I would say thank you. That's that's it. Thank you for oh. for all what you did and all what you are doing all the time. Thank you so yeah. much. Oh, you're welcome. Thank you very much for coming on. I think you did a very thank good you. job. Way to go. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Thank you so <laughs> okay. much. Thank until, you. Until next time. Okay. Bye-bye. See bye you. Bye-bye. Okay. All right. I'm just making a note here. Okay. All right. So I told you guys, and I wasn't lying, After each one, there's a quiz. <laughs> so here we go. Let me get it ready. And it's time for a quiz. Let's do it. Oh, guess I need to readjust. All right. And let's readjust. Okay. So time for a quiz. We'll try to focus. Da -da -da. Come on. All right. So let's do it. Let's get right forward into the quiz. All right. This dog is probably thinking. Let me try to focus a little bit. All right. This dog or these dogs, I guess. This dog is probably thinking, A, I'm so lost. B, I'm so cool. C, I'm so crazy. All right. Time for the music. Put your answer in the comments. Okay, so I think the answer that seems to make the most most sense, and let me grab something quick. Maybe I'm gonna grab one of these. Okay, so the answer which seems to make the most sense is B, right? I'm so cool, and I suppose maybe if the dog is like embarrassed, <laughs> I don't know. I'm so crazy, but. In this situation, I think the best answer is, I'm so cool. All right. So why don't we do pronunciation? Everybody repeat after me. I'm so lost. Zizo 3 zz says, I think he lost his girlfriend, so he is cool. Aha. <laughs> All right. Everybody say, I'm so cool. And the last one, repeat after me. I'm so crazy. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. 
So I'm going to switch back around. The answer once again is B, I'm so cool. That's what this dog is probably thinking with his cool glasses. All right. Let's get ready for the next one. I'm going to switch back around. All right. Let's see. I have another picture ready. I have another quiz ready. Oh, we're done with the quiz. So the glasses have to come off. All right. So let's see. All right. Let's see. Burhanamide 87. Let's give it a try. All right. It says Burhanamide 87 is unable to join. So. Okay, let's see. All right, let's try Zizo 3ZZ. I think you said your data was gone. Maybe you came back, huh? Waiting for Zizo 3ZZ. Hi. Hello? Hello? Hi, you asked me that again. All right. And right. You, hear, you hear me well? Uh, so, so. Uh, now you hear me well or not? It's okay. Are you in? You must be in a car. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay. I'm in a car. I come from. I came from country. You know, it's a long go. It was long go away. Okay. All right. So, can you hear me? Okay. Oh, we're breaking up a little bit. Let's see. So we hope, we'll try to have a strong connection when we're doing the picture. Yeah, Mustafa Arzi says he is traveling, right? I agree. But it's frozen, so I'm going to have to terminate <laughs> so we can keep. Okay. All right, let's see. Fortunately, that one didn't work so well. Let's see. Uh, Aquib Latif says, I want to join. All right, let's see what we have. Oh, it says... Let's see. All right. Give me one sec. I'm just trying to work something out here. All right, let's see. It says, waiting for Akib Latif. And I'm probably saying your name incorrectly, but oh well, we move forward. <laughs> oh, I'm from India. From India, okay. Yeah. And is is it really dark there, or are you covering your face? No, actually, it's dark. No light. That's why. <laughs> <laughs> that's okay. As long as we can hear each other and talk, then we'll be all right. And you can see me, right? Yeah, yeah. I'm I'm seeing you. So, okay. How smart you are. I I am seeing the darkness. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So actually, I, I, actually, actually, I love your voice. My, my what? <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm your great fan from India. Oh, wonderful. Uh, Danivad and Namaste. <laughs> <laughs> you know Hindi? Thanks. No, you don't know. I'm sorry? <laughs> uh, can, can I get your name? My name is uh, Akib. Akib, okay, and from India, and do you know what we're going to do today? Yeah, quizzes. Okay, so are you ready? I'm ready. All right, I'm going to switch the camera around. Give me a moment to focus, but here we go. Tell me okay. what you see. All right, let me just make it a little bit bigger. All right, kind of a simple picture, but... It will have motion in a moment. So tell me, tell me what you see. It, it seems like a dog maybe. Okay. And actually this is kind of fitting because you're all black and the picture is almost all white. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we have a dog or something. What is the environment? Tell me what you can about the picture, because there's a not, not a lot of details. I think cloudy. It's what? Cloudy environment. A dirty environment. Okay. Yeah. And what if it's all white? And if I told you that it's really cold, <laughs> what, 
Yeah, it seems very cold there. So Okay. <laughs> so, so what is the white stuff then if it's really cold? It's a cloudy, cloudy. A cl- cloudy? Yeah. Well, yeah, actually, cloudy. Th- this isn't the sky, it's the ground all around and I think it's a fox. And fox. so if the, if the yeah. ground if, if the ground is Definitely. white if the ground is white all around the fox what do you think i think fox is staring right and he's staring he's <laughs> i'm going to get you to say to say the word <laughs> he's standing in what <laughs> what? <laughs> what is he standing in <sighs> very difficult It starts with an S. All right, let's do it together. So right now the fox is standing in What? So no. Snow. Snow. <laughs> right. So the fox is standing in snow and maybe you could say you can maybe say snow and ice because it's probably a cold place. So tell me what possible locations could he be in the world sorry uh, where where could he be what country could he be in in the world with so much snow jammu and kashmir the think sure draw, okay <laughs> <laughs> draws the coldest place on the earth <laughs> okay so give me some other countries where it's possible like uh... I know Kashmir is very cold. Uh-huh. On the border of Pakistan and India, right? Yeah. Definitely. Oh, right. so, so give me some other uh countries. Or how about this? I'll give you like, letters. Go ahead. Australia. Uh <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> yeah, I I don't think <laughs> I, I I haven't yet been to Australia but I don't think they have much snow there. <laughs> okay, how about R? What about England? Switzerland. Uh, ah, Switzerland. Yes. How about a R, company, country that starts with R? Russia. Russia. Okay. I saw in the in the comments some of them said the Arctic. That's not a country but it's an area, a lot of snow and a lot of ice. What about Den- what about Denmark? Denmark. Maybe yeah. they have the winter, right? And then if you put them you yeah. could, you know, Finland, Norway and Sweden, exactly. right? So, what do you think the what do you think the fox is doing? So they usually have a purpose. Hmm. Uh, excrete excrete <laughs> he's going to, like he's, 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 he's i i guess that's possible what other possibilities are there mm. you, you, you can look in the comments taking, of- taking taking rest on the snow maybe sure that's a, that's a possibility too and are if i finding are finding food extra staring staring right how about a word that starts with with h and sorry what do you think hunting 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 what kind of food do you think the fox would hunt here cock Okay. He he's hunting dogs, you said? No, I said cock. Hen, oh. hen. Hen. Okay, like a chicken. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't know if there are any arctic chickens. <laughs> But I guess anything is possible. So how about this? Maybe had Her prey. Her 
somebody is saying in the comment mouse mouse uh huh okay well i'm going to put it i'm going to start the video and you tell me what you see okay all right here we go okay wow he jumped okay. <laughs> he jumped and that's not all what else did he do maybe he caught a mouse there <laughs> uh, is possible so there's something uh, there's something he's looking for <clears throat> under the what there something. is mouse right so he... so, go ahead so he jumped into the air and then what what did he do into the snow he caught the mouse there sure probably and he kind of looks like a swimmer what do swimmers do when they go into the water start the word starts with d dive like dive right so we could say he dove into the snow All right and he dove face first into the snow He so, dove into the snow. Right. And how do you think he knew that there was a mouse there or that there's something there? Because he probably can't see it, but how do you think he knew? <clears throat> how how do you think Maybe. he knows? Uh-huh, maybe it, there may be the lake and the snow breeze he caught maybe he caught she caught the fish also sure Thank i guess so. uh huh right so if you had to summarize the picture do you know what the word summarize means yeah over all right. so how would you summarize this video what would you say <clears throat> the fox caught the fish <laughs> sure that's possible <laughs> maybe, and and when you say the fox caught the fish in in the, in the, my head the, i'm just thinking maybe the there was a fish uh huh that- for her prey and he caught okay so you would be correct but we probably need to add more more description to describe this pic- this video cuz it's very un- it's very unique fox hunter okay well we could say the fox is hunting and he was so focused that he dove head first into the snow to and get what was, get what was under the snow right yeah okay he dives to the fish right so how do you think the fo- the fox feels right now why does he want to get the fish so happy <laughs> Well, he he hasn't got well before he got it how did he feel so surprised how about how about uh, worrying hungry? about <laughs> hungry <laughs> yeah <laughs> it may be hungry right. that's why right he's he's worried he's so hungry that he's going hunting and he's willing to dive into the snow right <laughs> yeah definitely okay All right. Well, I'm going to switch back around cuz we need to move forward. All right. So, if you have a question for me or if you have a comment, go ahead. No, I don't have any question. <laughs> okay. And I have a feeling that it's not dark there. You just don't want to show your face, <laughs> which is fine because <laughs> because because if, if I can I can show you only after after 8. 
8 p.m. Uh, you're, you're a werewolf? <laughs> <laughs> actually oh, yeah. actually the actually actually here is no light this time that's why i'm, well, I'm not able well i believe you but to there's show one my face there's one problem is that if you can see my face that means you're looking at your phone and there's light coming from the phone <laughs> so i would be able to see <laughs> at least an outline but if you don't want to show, show your face that's okay cuz other people do that too but I do need to move forward. I want to say thank you for coming on. You have a lot of positive energy. <laughs> okay. So th thank you for coming and you're welcome to come back in the future, okay? Have a good okay. have a good night. Okay. Bro. Okay. All right. Let's see. Oh, that's right. It's time for a quiz. So let's flip back around. Are you guys ready? Here we go. Let's. So we're going to use this. And I'm going to show you a quiz. And I got to make it smaller. There we are. Okay. So here we go. And of course, we'll have music again once I can get it. So here's the question We could say this fox is quite a wimpy. B, focused. C, strange. Time for the music. Leave your answer in the comments. Okay, so we could say this fox is quite, and once again, we're talking about this fox right here, right? The one that jumped up into the air and dove into the snow. All right, so let's go back to the choices. Whoops, not that one. <laughs> here we go. We could say this fox is quite focused, right? So this Fox is very, very focused, right? And we could probably also say patient. He sat and watched. We don't know for how long he sat and watched, but eventually he felt that it was time to jump and attack. <laughs> and I think you guys said in the comments, because I had asked the question, how does he know the fish or the mouse is there? And whoever said smell, I would say it was probably correct. Smell and hear, because it looks like he can't actually see anything so but that was a pretty it's pretty unique unique video okay so let's do some pronunciation repeat after me wimpy everybody say focused and everyone say strange okay can anyone tell me what the word wimpy means and I wouldn't it's the wrong answer but can anyone tell me what does the word wimpy mean? All right, in the bottom center, focused. Mustafa says concentrated, right? That's another way to say focused. Can anyone tell me another way to say wimpy? Or what is the meaning of wimpy? It's a wrong answer, but let's figure out what it means. What does wimpy mean? Does anyone have an idea? Ah, Mary, Mary D. 1394 says fearful. Uh-huh. That's possible. Yes, that's very possible. Uh, Mustafa Arzi's smelling feeling is so powerful in the fox, right? The fox has a very strong sense of smell. Ambitious 222 says coward, right? If someone is wimpy, <laughs> they're kind of like they're cowardly. They're not very brave. Yes, Centurk 55 says weak. Wimpy, a great way to, to explain what wimpy means is weak, right? It's the opposite of strong, right? Okay, nice work. All right, so let's switch back around. That was the end of our quiz for that time. All right, glasses off. I hope you guys enjoy the music. Okay.
So let's see. Let me get my next picture ready. And there we are. Well, we have, oh, other, other thing. I need to cut the live and I'm going to restart it or else it's going to cut us off in, off in the middle of next conversation. So uh, I'm going to end this live and then I'll be back in maybe like five seconds, just in a moment. So please come back and I have more pictures. Okay, I'll be right back. Okay, I'm live again, and I might as well play the music. <laughs> Hopefully you guys come back in. I needed to end that one because the time was going to... And in the past, it cuts us out when we're right in the middle of a conversation. All right. So we already have a request. Let's get started. All right, Ghazal Hosseini. All right, let's see. Ghazal Hosseini. Okay, it says, waiting for Ghazal Hosseini. Let's see if it can connect. All right, thank you everyone for coming back. Now we have a fresh amount of time to keep going. All right, it still says waiting. Still waiting. All right, let's see. Mm -hmm. Let's see. All right, waiting for Ghazal Hosseini. Let's try it again. All right, we'll try it. Still says waiting for Ghazal Hosseini. I'll wait for a little bit. We've got to move forward. All right, let's see. Hmm. Not quite sure what happened there. All right, let's try Shuj Nozam. Shuj Nozam. All right, it says waiting. Uh, let's see what's happening. All right, still waiting. Hopefully our connection is good. Mm -hmm. While we're waiting, I guess I'll make sure I have my pictures ready to go. Okay, so still waiting. Mm hmm, I wonder what's happening. It says waiting, waiting, waiting. Maybe they haven't accepted? I don't know. All right, let's see. All right, let's try another one. All right, Palau, Palau. <laughs> All right, we might have someone. Hello. <laughs> All right, can I get your name and where you're from? And I, I can't hear you. There's, there's no audio. Ah, so, ah. I'm so sorry. <laughs> wait a minute, please. Please wait just a second, please. Be quick. <laughs> okay. Da, 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 da. Maybe I'll play music while we're waiting. Okay. Uh huh. Sorry. No I'm worries. I'm so sorry. I was waking up. <laughs> it's really no, early here. No, no worries. I played music while we were waiting for you. <laughs> okay, so no, now I, I can't hear your audio. Let's see. Uh, you can hear me now. Now yes. I can. Yes, I, I I should speak lowly. So. Okay. All right. And your 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 name looks familiar. Are you from Chile? Chile? Uh, yeah. Yes, okay. I'm from Chile. And, and what's your, what is your name? Aldo. Aldo. Okay. Uh-huh. All right. So, bienvenido. Gracias por estar con nosotros. Pero no voy a hablar en español. Voy a hablar en inglés. <laughs> okay. Uh -huh. Muchas gracias. Okay. Muchas so, gracias por la bienvenida. Oh, para, na para nada. Um, do you know what we're going to do today? Yes, I know. I know. What are I we going know. to what are we going to do? Uh, just uh, we were watching the, we were seeing the the images, the the, the clips that oh. we were talking about animals, and then we will have a quiz. Isn't it? Yes. Okay. So, are you ready to see a picture? Yes. Yes, I am. Say yes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Here we go. I'm gonna. 
turn the camera around. Let's begin whenever okay. you're ready. Mm -hmm. All right, let me adjust and put it in focus. All right, tell me what you see whenever you're ready. Okay. Yes. All right. I see. Uh, well, I, I can see a cat. Okay. Uh, this cat uh, is over, um, I don't know, maybe inside the house. I don't know where exactly. Okay. But maybe, well, uh, this cat has a, a dark face. Okay. A dark face. And his legs, those are a uh, black uh, too. Maybe this cat is looking for something. Okay. And uh, and maybe he's surprised. Okay. Because he is looking at the camera. Ah. That that, that is can I see? Okay. Can I ask you some questions? Yeah, yeah, sure, please. And, okay. and sorry, because I'm, uh, I am a, a little nervous. Oh, no worries. I admire your confidence for coming live. All right, so here is the first Thank question. Uh, what time of day is it? Mm, it? It is maybe the morning, it is maybe day. Okay. Maybe 11 a.m. Okay. And you, I think you mentioned that the cat is surprised or possibly surprised. Why might mm -hmm. the cat be surprised? I don't know. Uh, 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 because I, uh, I saw the cat. I thought uh, he was walking uh, around the, the house. Uh, and then he, he, I don't know how to say it. Uh -huh. He looked at the camera. So <laughs> he didn't expect uh, to see anybody filming that. Right. No? So maybe someone surprised him. He looked back at the camera yeah. and then they took his picture. Uh -huh. And can, can you describe where is he walking? What is he standing on? Or, yeah. Yes. It is a kind of furniture of the, of the kitchen. I don't know the, the name exactly. Okay. Uh, I don't know the, the name of the of the the stage. Okay. Where he, he's standing at. Well, the, but maybe it's in the kitchen. Okay, and the it's actually it's a window. Is it? I it's, can I can see. Okay, yes. And he's standing on a part of the window. Do you know the word? Oh, okay. What is uh -huh. he standing on top of? What do, What would you call that? Yes, it is. Uh, is the top of the the base of the window now? Right at at the base of the window, right? And there's also another word that is not super common, but you can uh -huh. say that the cat is walking on the windowsill. Windowsill, okay. And all it means it's just the bottom frame of the window, right? Okay. Yeah. So I didn't know that word. So what is this over here? I, I'm not sure about the name. Uh, uh, I don't know if it is curtain. Uh, no, I, I don't know the, the name. The uh -huh. name. I think you're right. I think you just said it. Curtain. A curtain. And, yeah. and some people, they might call it the shades or the curtain. But I would probably call it a curtain because it's long mm -hmm. and it can block all the light. Right? Uh -huh. Okay, so where do you think, where is the cat going? If he continues onward, where is he going to go? Or maybe it's a she, I don't know. But where is the cat going? Uh, I think the, 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 the cat is going out the, the house. Maybe he, want, he, want, he wanted to get out. Okay. And he was, he was surprised by the photo. Okay. But, and? Uh, but I think that he, he wanted to, to get out, to go out from the house. Okay, and how would you describe his body location next to the curtain? How would you describe, because we, there's, how would you describe that we can't see his full body? Uh, well, I can't describe because I'm not able to see what is uh, behind the curtain. Right, but yeah. how do you describe the situation 
that the curtain is what? The curtain is causing us to be unable to see. So how would you describe it? Do you have any other words? So, um, the curtain is hiding the, the, the other half of the, of the body of the cat. Right, right. We, very good. And we can also say blocking, right? Blocking, yes. And if you want to go from the other way, you could say the cat is hiding behind the curtain. Ah, okay. oh yes. yes. So it, it depends on your, on your point of view. You could say the, the, the curtain uh -huh. is hiding the cat or the cat is hiding uh -huh. behind the curtain. Sure. Uh, yes, the, the cat is hiding behind the curtain. Right. And I think this is the kind of cat that you would call a Siamese cat. Siamese. I think, I'm not an expert, but because you said before that he has a dark head and he has dark uh -huh. feet, dark paws, and I think yeah. it's something like a Siamese cat, but I'm not really sure. And uh, I'm not sure. Do you think this cat is a, a male or a female? Uh, I think he's male. I have heard that cats who has more than three or four colors, they are pretty sure that they are female. So in this case, I would say that he is male. Okay. And I have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I had uh, read the, that before. Ah. The color. Okay. All right. Um, so are you ready to see it in action? Yes, I want to see it. <laughs> so take your time, watch it, and then tell me what you learned, because we'll get new information, okay? Okay. <laughs> okay, it's really fun, <laughs> and it is sad. It is fun and sad. <laughs> I didn't expect that. <laughs> okay, so we learned something new. What happened? Okay, what happened? He tried to jump uh, in order to reach the other building, maybe. Uh huh. And. He and he wasn't able to, to do it, so he fell down. <laughs> it is really fun, but sad too. <laughs> right. And can you describe why was he unable to jump? Um, I, I don't know how, I don't know the, 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 the word. Uh-huh. Because... Well, let, let, me, is, let, me, is, mm -hmm. let, let me give you a verb and you see if you can make a sentence, okay? Okay. So the verb is to slip. Ah, okay. Uh, do you know this? Do you know this verb? Mm, not at all. Well, but this I think it is kind of. Uh, I don't know. How well, just think of this: if you're walking, right? if you're walking on top of a, a frozen lake, it's all ice, and your yes, feet are yes. slipping. Yes, right. I know who would be the the, the definition, but. Because in Spanish it's uh, resbalar. Uh huh. But I don't know how is the word in English. <laughs> right. So can you make a sentence describing what the cat did using the verb to slip? Yes, but I think if I want to to speak in past, uh, maybe uh, the the word is not the same. No, it is slip. No. How, how would be in the past the verb in the past? To make a make a sentence. Yes. Okay. Well, like you oh, said, well, we... uh huh. Mm -hmm. No, no. Sorry. How, how is the is the verb? But in the past, how can I, uh, I use it? You could say uh, slipped. Slipped. Okay. That would be past tense. So, so I, I could say the the cat slipped trying to to jump from the window. Right. Right. So he tried to jump to the other side. And mm -hmm. we have a couple of options. We could say, uh -huh. we could say, uh, he slipped, as in the cat he slipped, slipped. or we could uh -huh. also we could also say, his feet s slipped. Ah, okay, okay. But it, it would be a similar meaning because the window sill must have been. Now we'll do the adjective. A slippery wind. I'll move it up in a second. Uh, a slippery windowsill, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. 
So yeah, yeah, yeah. I got it. If you had to summarize what happened in this video, how would you summarize it in a few short sentences? Well, I could say the super cat trying to be superman. <laughs> <laughs> super cat trying to be superman. Uh-huh. Yeah. Yeah, because it, it, it seems uh, like he wanted to fly. You know? Right. And when he started to to fall down, what did he do with his with his feet? Sorry? What did he do with his feet when he started to uh fall down? <laughs> oh, when he started to fall down, his feet is going to I don't know. Well, I, I don't know how to describe it. But he's going to to fall down uh, to 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 fall on uh -huh. the floor with 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 the, the four legs. Uh, on the ground. Sure. And we could say when he fell, he kept his feet spread out, straight. Spread out. Oh, okay, yes. Straight, yeah. Right. <laughs> yeah, 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 I got it. I, I understood. <laughs> And then he's falling. So what do you uh -huh. think, what do you think he landed on? What's below? Uh, I hope the grass, man. <laughs> I hope. <laughs> Right? Or, it, it, uh -huh. yeah. I, go ahead. No, 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 please. I was going to say, maybe the neighbor's dog is below. <laughs> no, no, no. I don't, I, I don't want, I would, wouldn't want to see it. Right. So we, we could say this cat was unlucky. Yes, because, he is very unlucky. Right? Yes, And maybe... To, to reach it. Yeah, you're right. Maybe today was an unlucky day, and usually, maybe he can usually jump across, but for some reason, the, the windowsill is slippery today. It's a slippery, yeah. Right. Okay. So, I think you said a, a super jump for a super cat? Is that what you said? <laughs> yeah, yeah. And that, that's a good one. I said, uh, I said uh, a super cat trying to be a superman, but, but the <laughs> oh, yeah. one... That one that you said it is it is correct. Okay, and uh, if this was a movie, would you give mm -hmm. it any other names? Uh, I'm uh, I'm not sure if it is uh, the right way the right way to say it, but jumper cat. <laughs> is it right? Yeah, I suppose you could say yes. jumper cat. Maybe we could say ninja cat. <laughs> Ninja cat, yes, yes, I can say it too. Okay, <laughs> all right, so I'm going to switch the camera back around. And and so now it's your turn because I asked you a lot of questions. If you have a question mm -hmm. for me or if you have a comment, it's your turn. Well, hey, I have a lot of questions, <laughs> but I think we we don't have time. Maybe I pick one. I would have to, to choose one, but first of all, I want to thank you because uh, your lives, your videos, your classes are really uh, helpful to us. There are a lot of, uh, there is a lot of uh, people that who want to, to learn English and more every day and you, you do it possible. So, so I'm really, I feel really thankful. Oh. Thank you for your kind hey. words. <laughs> no, no, no. It, I, I, well, I, I feel really thankful. I would say it again. I don't know how, how to say it. I, I need to find another way to say it. But it is important because most of us want to, to get fluency. Yes, and, and we, uh, we need to have to practice to talk with uh, another person, but we don't find the person. And you do it possibly. Okay. So, uh, and besides, you're a teacher, so so it, it is it is a great chance. It is a great opportunity to improve our skills. So, thank you so much. Please. Can Can I give you a piece of advice or a tip? Yeah, yeah, yes, please. Okay. Please. I want um. Well, and I'll tell you about when I was studying Spanish. <laughs> yes. A while ago, and I'm from way up north in the United States. So, uh -huh. muchísimos gringos and no people, <laughs> nobody that <laughs> speaks Spanish, right? 
or no uh -huh. native speakers. So what I would do, we had like a Spanish club, and it would just be all uh, white people or people that spoke English, but we would force each other to only speak Spanish. <laughs> uh -huh. yeah. And our accent was incorrect, but we were able to communicate, and it built our vocabulary, and the people that were better could help those that were not so good. And so my point is that sometimes people say that, oh, I can't practice because I don't have a native speaker. That's uh -huh. not quite true. You can practice <laughs> and you can improve. So when you have the opportunity to speak with a native speaker, you'll feel more confident, right? You'll feel uh -huh. more confident about your ability. So uh -huh. that's a tip. Yeah. Thank you for your word, sir. Thank you so much. <laughs> okay. All right. Well, thank you for coming live. And I admire your confidence because it takes confidence to to come live and speak like this in front of all uh, all of instagram <laughs> <laughs> yes yes it is true no oh, thank you too and now i feel more confident okay yes. and it's it's easier when we have fun if it's really uh -huh. if it's really boring <laughs> then it uh, kind of yes. kind of sucks but okay all right well i need to move forward thank you and yeah, you're yeah, sure you're welcome thank to you come too. back in the future Okay, thank you too, and have a nice, great, and nice lesson for the others. Okay, have a great day. Hasta luego. You too. <laughs> Ciao. Ciao. <laughs> okay. Oh, I keep almost forgetting. Time for the quiz. All right. Let's switch around. Let me get it ready. Switching around. Time for the quiz. All right. Were you guys listening? We're going to find out in just a moment, right after I focus a little. Okay, focus, come on. All right, we'll make it work. Okay, here we go with the quiz, and of course I'll put music right after I read. Okay. <laughs> Ed, right, so this cat, and I think you know which cat we're talking about, right? We're talking about, yeah, that cat, right? Okay. So this cat looks like it is A, swimming, B, crying, C, skydiving. Hmm. Okay, start the music. Okay, all right. Well, this one would depend maybe on your point of view because <clears throat> there are two that are possible. And I think first we'll talk about the one that just doesn't work. Crying B is not correct. All right, the answer that I would choose, I would say skydiving. Um, if, you've, if you've seen skydiving before, when they jump out of an airplane, <laughs> when they jump out of an airplane and then they have a parachute, they kind of look like this cat, I and mean, they're spread out, and they enjoy the jump, and then they go down, so, ah, right? <laughs> so if you ask me, I would say skydiving. And if you said swimming, I would kind of understand because the movements are similar to kind of swimming, like you're stretching out like you want to swim. Uh, however, from my experience, cats don't seem to really enjoy water that much. So if you ask me, I would choose skydiving. All right, let's do pronunciation. Swimming. Crying. Skydiving. Okay, so skydiving is when they jump out of an airplane and they have a parachute and then they ride down. But unfortunately... I don't think this cat has a parachute. <laughs> okay, so <laughs> uh, I, <laughs> I don't think this cat has a parachute, so he's going to be landing on the ground or whatever's down below, right? Okay, so let me get my next picture, my last picture. Last one is ready. 
Okay, there it is. Let's see who else is there ready to go live. Let's take a look. All right, let's take a look. Uh, someone we haven't, I guess, had before. Let's see. Oop. Try and... one moment. All right, let's wait in for Barzani. Barzani with a lot of eyes. Let's see if it comes in. <clears throat> Hello? Okay. Let's see if it connects. Can you hear me? I can hear you, but I can't see you. Can you can you can you see me? Okay. How about we try to reconnect one more time? So I will hang up, but then I will try to add you back in. All right, and try to re request. Okay. All right. Let's give it a try. Before we did it with another lady before to have her come back. All right. Let's see. Oh, there it is, Barzani. We'll give it another try. Maybe the second time is the one that will work. Let's give it a try. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Wu Chao 131, where's the guest? Let's see. It's loading, it's loading. Excuse me. <clears throat> mm, let's see. Can you hear me? All right. No, I can't see you, and I I don't think the ah <laughs> uh, I do, I don't know, but we need to have a clear connection. Let's see. Okay, we'll we'll try it one more time. Okay. Okay, so we'll try one more time, and we'll wait just a moment. Oh, you say we can't hear. Hmm. We'll try one more time, and if the connection is not good, then we'll move to the next person. But I like to give people a chance, because sometimes the connection is not so good, and then it comes back, and then it works. But we'll try. Let's see. So let's see. While we're waiting for him to come back, can you guys tell me, do you like the quizzes? <laughs> That's my experiment for today. Do you like to use, uh, <clears throat> do you like me to give you guys quizzes? All right. Yes or no? If you like the quizzes, give me some apples in the comments because I love apples. All right. Let's see. We're waiting for them to come back. All right. We'll wait just a little bit longer. I see thumbs up. If you like the quizzes, give me some apples or or strawberries or oranges or bananas. <laughs> throw throw some fruit at me if you like the quizzes. I need feedback from you guys. Because I kind of like the quizzes. I think it's a good way to test you guys. All right, I see apples. All right, I see a hand. I see definitely. All right. All right, let's see if the guy has come back. There he is, Barzani. Well, if it works this time, we'll do it. If it doesn't work, then we're going to have to move on to the next person. It says, waiting for Barzani. All right. Aha, I see video. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Hello, teacher. How are you? Great. How are you? I'm fine. Thank you very much. That's not because it's kidding. All right. So it took, Sorry. it took three tries, but here we are. Okay. Yes. So can can I get your name and where you're from? My name is Sherwani. I'm from Kurdistan. Kurdistan. Okay. Uh well Do you know Kurdistan? I only know one word, I think. Uh su supas means thank you, right? Supas? Yes, yes, you know Kurdish. No, <laughs> there's one word. <laughs> well, how, how you how you learn spas? Uh, who teach you spas? It was because you, it's Kurdish it was you, language. It was you guys, the people in the comments, because uh, yes, someone said yes. Kurdish. Pas, pas. Means, uh, thank you. 
Yeah. Okay. So, do you know what we're going to do today? Uh, that is my first time I joined it, uh, your live, and uh, it's pleasure for me. Uh, thank you for joining me. And uh, I every time I see your video, your teaching video, and I like, I love your teaching video, and I hope. Uh, you you agree uh, you agree me as your student and uh, have a course for me to che to teaching uh, myself and improve my English. Okay, and do you know what we're going to do right now in this live? Have you seen what I've done with the other people? Yes. Before I uh, before uh, I see the cut video uh, and. Uh, I have some some idea about it. Okay, so I'm going to show you a picture, and then okay. and then you describe the picture and pretend pretend that I can't see the picture. So you're trying to communicate with me what it looks like, okay? okay. And don't wor okay. don't worry if it's difficult. I'll help you out. We'll have a good time. No, <laughs> everything is easy. Uh, I think everything is easy. I can do it. Okay, great. I love the confidence. All right, I'm going to show you the picture. Here we go. Okay. All right. Let's go. Let me focus. Give me one moment. All right, and whenever you're ready, tell me what you see. I see the girl. I think uh, she closes uh, his eyes and he want to, uh, I don't know, but he want to, Go to uh, elephant is back. I don't know what the, what the mean of uh, about this. Okay. And so you see the elephants. How many elephants do you think there are? The, the, there is two elephants. Okay. I I think I think that she want to uh, she ask that uh, maybe she know uh, she she friend with the elephant. She know uh, the uh, that elephant. Maybe she asked him to like to touch uh, her mm, finger. <laughs> the, what? The, <laughs> I have no. <laughs> uh, maybe. Uh -huh. uh, or she she asked uh, that elephant to sit down and he want to. Uh, he want to. I don't know in English what what that means. <laughs> To ride the elephant? You want to go? Yes. You ride the elephant, yes. All right, let me put the words on the screen, if this is what you mean. Oop. To ride the elephant? Yes, 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 yes. Okay, so how would we make a sentence? Because that was just a phrase. Can you make a complete sentence? So she wants to ride the elephant. Right, sure. Okay, and why why do you think she wants to ride the elephant? Because I I think uh, she she know and she uh, she have uh, she is not uh, I, just a minute. Mm. Uh, she doesn't uh, care about this elephant. She doesn't uh, have. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. She. Uh huh. She's not nervous. She's confident. <laughs> yes, she is not nervous about this uh, elephant. Mm -hmm. And she asked uh, this elephant to sit down, and he want to ride uh, to sit uh, on elephant's back, and she want to ride uh, elephant on elephant. Right. Here is a, a possible way to say it. And go ahead, can you read the sentence? Okay. Maybe. It's it's possible. Can can you repeat after me? It's the first time she's seen the elephant and she's excited to ride it. Yes. It's the first time she's seen the elephant and she's excited to ride it. And do we know for sure? No, but it's a possibility, right? Yes, yeah? yes. And can you tell me about the other people in the picture? <clears throat> yes, the other people, I think that there is a, 
there is an elephant cut and i think she uh, and i think he he clean the elephant's uh, body ah maybe maybe or, or he take food to elephant uh huh like a wor- give food to elephant maybe so maybe it's a worker or do you think it's like a tourist i don't think uh, they are a uh, tourist because i see in the uh, this Uh, uh, this white uh, t-shirt uh, he ha- he has he had something in him in his hand i think the, it's food and he take to elephant he uh, he take food to elephant right okay and Maybe. how would you describe the elephants their actions what would you say I think it's uh, normal and the, uh, the elephant uh, like this situation because he give uh, free food <laughs> <laughs> and tasty food right <laughs> yes it is uh, his food and in in english what do we call an elephant's nose what is the word i don't know <laughs> ah, we call it a trunk Trunk. Right. Trunk. And it's similar to this trunk. There's uh, this trunk, the tree trunk. So, but we have in, uh, do you know uh, about Cisco network? Uh, maybe. I'm not sure. Okay. We, we have trunk command. We have trunk command in Cisco. Uh, if you, you put uh, one port to trunk, if you connect between... Uh, 20, 20 switches you uh, by trunk port you can go to uh, switch number 3 or switch na- or you can join all switches okay in trunk common when, when you check uh, trunk to uh, which ports okay so the word trunk can fit in different situations yes aha uh-huh. and in this one it's elephant's nose <laughs> Yes. Okay. So, um can you describe the direction the woman is looking? I think he, he look uh, he look uh, up of uh, elephant. Maybe he look face of elephant. Mhm. Maybe he look the uh, face uh, uh, he focus on fa- uh, elephant's face and he ask to please sit down i want to come to your back <laughs> right and uh, you i'm don't i'm don't don't uh, shoot me uh, i don't don't worry i don't uh, do bad thing don't shoot me please <laughs> you could say uh let's see what the woman is looking upwards toward the elephant and the woman is looking upwards toward the elephant and like you said you could maybe say she is begging <laughs> him to sit down so she yes. can ride on his back uh, your type is very good you are very uh, fast <laughs> about typing okay so do you, what do you know do you know what the, i think i'm i think i'm better than you because i'm i work on like a programmer. Ah, well, I hope you're better than me. <laughs> can can you tell me different ways to describe what would begging be? She, she is begging. begging. Him, uh, yes, she please at him. She ask him. Right. Right. So, it's not like begging for money or begging for food. <laughs> it's like <Yeah>. asking, <laughs> right? Depends how you wor- use yes. that word, right? Okay. Yeah. So do you Do you have anything to say before I show you the video? Uh no. Okay. We can uh, start. All right, here we go. Oh, he play with uh, uh elephant is uh, trunk. Uh-huh. And it's quick. She play, not she play, not he. Okay. And can you see what does the elephant 
take from her. I don't understand your your sound. Uh, sorry, I don't understand your uh, question. Okay. Um, the elephant takes something from the lady. What does he take from her? Oh, <laughs> he he takes her mobile. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> and yes. what is the lady trying to do after he takes her uh, cell phone? No, no. We, we know that she. She asked Eleven to give back her mobile. <laughs> <laughs> right. So now with... Oh, I like it. I like it. <laughs> so with, with the new information, we know that she probably... Well, we, we know that she's not trying to ride the elephant. She's trying to get her phone back, yeah? Yes. She, she tried to get her phone back. <laughs> And why do you think... Why did the elephant take her cell phone? Because he don't want to take uh, to uh, take pictures from uh, other people. <laughs> <laughs> so maybe the elephant is shy, huh? <laughs> yes. He's saying shy. He's saying, "Don't put my picture on Instagram." <laughs> yes. Right. So, how would you describe uh, what what other words could you uh, use for take? Yes, so because uh, I'm, um, I'm not good in English, but uh, maybe I don't have uh, uh, another uh, other idea. The elephant took her cell phone. Right. And what could we change with this? Oop, let me move it up one second. The elephant took If If we wanted to change this one, but the same meaning... And let's say we call Zep. if we call if we if we call the elephant a thief. <laughs> what what what? Zep. Let's see. T H E F T. Theft. Let's see. Zep. Theft. Zep. Let's see. A theft. Like robber. Right. Theft is what happened. Yes. Right. That's what happened. The person would be a thief. And what theft, yes. what they do theft. is the verb is. Oop, I think I spelled it wrong. There we go. To steal. So if we wanted to put this verb inside this sentence, how would we put it? Because it's in the past tense, right? So what would we have to do? Yes, past. Yes, past. We 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 need to use past. So how would we say to steal in the past? What do you think? Stur. Yes, right. Very good. The elephant stole her cell phone. Right. Yeah. And what do you think the elephant is going to do with it later? Sorry. Oh. What What will the elephant do with the phone later? <coughs> I think uh, the elephant want to take selfie. <laughs> Right. <laughs> right. Yeah, I was, that's a very good, very good idea. Do, do you think it's possible that the elephant will hold it and try to get bananas or food? <laughs> yes, maybe, uh, maybe the elephant is angry, uh, hungry, not angry, uh -huh. hungry, <laughs> and... Uh, Uh, she uh, he asked uh, the this uh, uh, he, he asked her to give him uh, food after he back uh, her phone. Uh huh. And if I'm gonna t see a word, maybe you'll know it. We could say the elephant will hold the phone for ransom. Do you know what the word? I don't know what. Ah, no ransom. Ransom is if there's a hostage. And the people want money. <laughs> if if there's a hostage, and they'll say the hostage can go free if you pay me money, so the money would be the ransom. And so the elephant will will hold the phone. We could say in exchange for yeah, I don't know change. maybe uh, bananas <laughs> or food or maybe a treat. 
But I have an uh, idea if maybe if uh, she know about it, if she uh, she take mouse. She take mouse and show the <laughs> elephant if you don't right. give my phone, I take you the, this mouse. Because uh, uh, the elephant uh, is, uh, have problem with mouse. They they scared about mouse. Af afraid of mice, right. Yes, that's about mouse. So they will have to negotiate <laughs> for the release of the phone. <laughs> yeah. All right. Okay. So if this, if I think Lily, Lily agree with my idea. She said it will be better. <laughs> so if this was a movie, what would the title of the movie be? Excuse me. If this was a movie or a TV show, what would the name of okay. the movie be? Uh, uh, elephant robber. <laughs> right. I'm thinking maybe clever elephant. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. So I'm going to switch back around. Okay. All right. All right. Very well done. Okay. So. Thank you. Um, I asked, so I have ahead. some question. I have some question. Okay. Uh, maybe it's not. Uh, uh, it's not good. Uh, good time about this question, but uh, I want. I and I. Uh, I want and I search uh, for for find a uh, native teach for find a native teacher to have a course to have a learning course. But I don't find, uh, I don't know, I don't find anyone. And I ask uh, more teacher, but they don't have time because they have uh, other uh, students. I don't know, uh, do you have a teaching course for students or not? And if, I, if you have, I ask, uh, can you, have a time on, or can you have a course for me to, for teaching me and for uh, teach my, uh, for teaching me English language and Spanish? <laughs> In Spanish. Well, I do teach privately, but I charge. It's not for free. Okay, it's, it's not a problem. Um, if you want, you could, you can go to my website. Um, and I'm, okay, can you type your website? It's uh, ablelingo.com and ablelingo. Or you know what's even easier? Send me a DM. Send me a private message on Instagram. Okay. I will send you a private message. That's probably easiest. And then I can give you a straightforward answer. Right. Okay. Okay. All right. Well, thank you very much for coming live. And I like, I like <laughs> to say you. to the people who come live, I admire your confidence. Very well done. Zor, zor spas. Zor, zor spas. <laughs> What's that? Zor, zor spas. It means thank you very much. Ah, okay. Well, you're very welcome. And su, su pas. <laughs> su pas. Zor, zor spas. Zor, zor spas. Okay. Thank you very much. It means. Okay. All right. Well, wonderful. And right after we finish, I'm going to do the quiz. And then you're welcome to, to look at the answers. Okay. All right. Thank you. Okay. Have a good day. Thank you. You too. Have a good day. Okay. All right. It's time for the last quiz of the day. All right. So we saw the elephant take the lady's phone. And it's hard to say who would be to blame. I think the woman was probably annoying. <laughs> And the elephant was like, give me that phone. Stop taking my pictures. Okay. All right. So here we go. It's time for the quiz. The last quiz of the day. Here it is. I'm going to turn around and let me adjust so you guys can see what's going on. Give me just a moment. And we'll make it clear. Oh, tell you what. While I'm focusing, I'll play music. 
All right, give me just a moment. All right. Okay, let's see. Let me pause the music, and we'll get to the question. Okay, so I would feel, uh, I think I can make it even more focused. Just give me one second. Come on. All right. Okay. All right, here we go. I would feel if this happened to me. So we need to fill in the blank. And it's your choice. Okay. <laughs> and this one, or I'll just show you the answers, or the possible choices. Here we go. I would feel if this happened to me. And when I say this, I'm talking about the elephant stealing your cell phone, right? So if that happened to you, I would feel A, like crying, B, like smiling, C, like vomiting. <laughs> Let's play the music while you guys decide on your answer. Okay, all right. So this one, I'm not going to say there's a right answer. There's an answer I would give, but you know it depends on you. <laughs> if you were, if you asked me, and it was my phone, I don't know. If it wasn't such a big deal, then I guess I would say I would feel like smiling. If if let's say I had just received an email, a business email, and it was worth a lot of money and he broke my phone, then I would probably feel like crying. <laughs> and if it was like something really serious, like maybe that is the newest phone, it's so expensive, and it has on it like a Bitcoin or something, and he breaks it, then maybe I would feel like vomiting. <laughs> so it kind of depends on you. And so there's, I won't say there's a right answer on this, it's going to depend on what you think. Let's see, you guys, in the answers, there's A, there's B. It depends, it depends. <laughs> uh, someone said shocked, right? Almeida Layla says shocked, right? So there, I give you three options, and you have to choose. Aha, Bakery Hot Bun says vomiting means throwing up. <laughs> right, so, you know, something makes you feel sick to the stomach, and it just, bleh, and it just comes out, right? Maybe after you get the phone back from the elephant, after the elephant swallowed it, <laughs> and then the, the ele elephant throws it up and gives it back, and then you touch, you touch it, and then you feel like vomiting. All right. So let, we won't forget. Let's do pronunciation. Repeat after me. Uh, I would feel like crying. I would feel like smiling. I would feel like vomiting. Ah, Gazal Hoseini says nausea, right? Feel nausea, it's like your stomach's all upset and sometimes if it just comes out, bleh, right? Okay, so if we had to summarize this picture or this video, I would say there was a lady, she was probably taking pictures of the elephant and maybe she got too close or she made the elephant feel uncomfortable and the elephant said, that's it. That's, oh, it's a great time for an idiom. This is the last straw. This is the last straw. I, whoop, I won't take any more. So this is the last straw. This is an idiom, the last straw. It means it's, that's it. That's it. There's no more. I'm going to take action and stop something. So maybe the elephant was like, this is the last straw. I won't take pictures anymore. And he took the phone. Mm -hmm. So 
This is the last straw, right? So that's the idiom for today, the last straw. Something is too much, really pisses us off, and we're not going to take any more. All right, so let me show you guys something quick. Uh, tomorrow is, let me look at the calendar here. Tomorrow is Monday, and I will be going live on YouTube. But we are no longer able idioms, we are able lingo. I'll put a countdown later. But I will be going live on YouTube, and when I go live on YouTube, I can use the full screen. I can use the full screen, and I do quizzes, and I have all this stuff, so it's pretty good. All right. Here we go. Let's turn around. I guess I can take my glasses off because we finished the quiz. Okay. So I want to make sure we covered everything today. We did. All right. I had a wonderful time with you guys in the comments live. You guys are great. All right. It seemed like the quizzes were a good idea. So I will try to add quizzes into the lives. And I go live on Instagram on Sunday and Wednesday, live on YouTube on Monday and Thursday at the same time. And I put countdown timers in my Instagram stories. Okay. All right. So wherever you are in the world, have a wonderful day, evening. Oh, and it's tradition time. Okay, let's see. Thank you in as many languages as possible. We'll get through it because my time's running up. Okay, Arabic is shokran. Uh, e is English. Thank you. French, merci beaucoup. German is danke, danke schön. Uh, H, Hindi, uh, danyavad. Shukriya is Urdu. Terimakasi is Indonesian. Arigato is Japanese. Arigato, Mr. Robato. Kamsa Hamnidad is Korean, Sheshe is Mandarin, Gamsia is Hokkien, Chinese, Doche is Cantonese, Chinese, uh, Russian is Spasiba, Kurdish, uh, Supas, Farsi, Sepas, so kind of close, uh, Turkish, Teshekur Ederim, and let's see, Russian, I said it was Spasiba, Spanish, Gracias, uh, Portuguese, Obrigado, and Hmm. Oh, Swahili is Asante. I'm probably forgetting something, but that's what we have. All right. So here we go. I, I'll say, oh, American Sign Language. Thank you very much. All right. Okay. So that's it for tonight. Tomorrow I will be live on YouTube, and my next Instagram live will be on Wednesday. Okay. And I put a timer and all that stuff. All right. Have a wonderful night, day, evening, afternoon, wherever you are. And thank you for joining us live. See you later. <laughs>